Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to Rosetta Vera. Today I'm going to be swatching out the Schneider Slider Edge XB pens. These are ballpoint pens. I mentioned in my February haul that I got these as a gift. Um, I have never heard of this brand before, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, so, but we're going to swatch them out and see how they work. Um, let's see how we can open this without ruining anything. I don't think that's going to be possible. But let's open them up and we'll see what they're about. So again, these are the Schneider Slider Edge XB pens. They come in this little carry case. I have never heard of this brand before. It is a German brand. Oh, it pops up like that. So you can kind of keep them standing up while you're working with them. Um, so I'm assuming these would be good for journaling, if that's your thing. Um, but we're going to swatch all eight colors. I believe there's eight colors. There's really nothing on the packaging. It is written in German. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. It does say something here. Ballpoint pen, but visco visco glide technology for extraordinarily easy and gliding writing. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, we'll see. It says for documents. It's supposed to be ergonomic as well. But let, let's see. Let me get my pad out and we'll swatch them out. All right. So it is a triangular barrel, that ergonomic triangle. Um, let's see, typical ballpoint pen. Let's see, do I see how many millimeters anywhere? No, I don't. Um, these little stickers are threatening to come off the size. There's no color name or anything. So we're just gonna swatch them by the name. So let's see, Schneider. Oh, that is smooth. All right, all right, Schneider. Um, that's actually a pretty smooth pen, especially like straight out the gate. Usually when you get ballpoint pens, you have to kind of, you know, do a little scratchy scratchy first to get them going but that was smooth right from the beginning i can already tell you i don't like the um plastic barrel it has that kind of rubbery um texture that sometimes gets sticky um so i don't like that but i do like how they glide all right so let me go to the next one all right Let's see yeah these are smooth from the door and that's a really really interesting green for a ballpoint pen I've seen dark green ballpoint pens never like like lime green before so I'm assuming this is a light blue and again these stickers are lifting up off the barrel. So this is almost like a teal blue. Again, very smooth, very smooth. Uh, I'm very surprised at how smooth these are. Like I said, especially coming, they're brand new. So there is a blue cap on this, but it looks more like a blurple. And I apologize for the glare. The sun has moved. So there's your actual purple. your pink my thought with these is if you are a person who uses a planner 
um, you might like these to do color coding. Like this is the first color where I feel like it wasn't as smooth as the rest, the red. Um, but otherwise, like I'm just kind of surprised at these uh -oh, being so smooth from the door. So that orange gave me a little bit of trouble. It's not as pigmented as the other ones. Um, I had to work with that a little bit. But other than that, the other ones really just, you know, showed up and showed out from from the door. Um, so that is the Schneider Slider Edge XP, XB, sorry, XB ballpoint pen. Um, these are actually very nice. Um they kind of like glide like a gel pen would glide but these are not gel pens so that's very surprising that they glide like that um and that is how they're described as gliding writing and that would be correct um they definitely um like if you had to write a lot and you're a person who especially if you write script these would be beautiful um for a person who writes in scripts i know I know some people don't write in script um, anymore, but if you're a person who writes in script, you would love these. Um, they just have a nice glide across the page. That's part of the reason I like gel pens because my handwriting is kind of a combination of block and script. So I like that flow. Um, but these these were actually nice and I, I think I'm gonna have to go look for some more stuff from Schneider to see what their offerings are. Like I said, I've never heard of this brand before. Um, the person who gifted it to me, her husband is German. So I'm wondering um, if maybe she was on a trip and she picked these up because it says made in Germany. Um, but these were actually really interesting. Um, I am curious how they, you know, how much ink they hold because since I can't really see in the barrels, um, I don't know how much ink will be in them. Um, I'm kind of like, I don't want to use these for everything. Cause you know, if, if you like pens and you find a pen that glides with the way that you write, it's like, you get very protective of it. You get very particular. It's the real reason why I like pilot gel pens. Um, there's some other pens that kind of have made it to the list. Um, but when you find a pen that like works with you, you get very, very particular about it. Um, so I'm like, what am I going to use these for? I mean, I guess you could use them at art projects. I, I don't think I want to. I think I want to use these like just in my journals and that's it. Um, but we'll see. But, um, yeah, I'll try to find a link for these and put it below if you guys are interested in them. Um, again, cause I've never seen these before, but I'll try to put, find a link and put them below, below if you're interested in learning more about, about these. Um, but as always, um, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.